one wonders, whatever happened to purity? Whatever happened to that? Whatever happened to the days when girls said, I'm not going to be touched by every guy. I'm not going to walk down the aisle like a filthy dishrag on my wedding day. What woman do, does he hang out with that is quote unquote touched by every guy before they are married? I mean, uh, and, and why, why doesn't he say anything about men who have uh, sex before their wedding day? And what does he call them? I mean, it's doubtful he uh, was abstinent until he was married. Whatever happened to that day? I speak no ill against someone who's had difficulty and sin in their past, but... He claims to that he, he's, not gonna, he's not speaking any ill of anyone who has any difficulty or sin in their past. Yet, he's calling women who have had sex before they were married, uh, which many, 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 many Christians do, both male and female. Uh, he's calling them dirty dish rags. The, the women, um, men are, since they're Christian men, they are not at fault at, at anything. Uh, so, and, and throughout this entire video, he talks bad about women. Uh, who have had sex before they're married. He speaks ill the entire time. He is a total liar. From this day forward, it's not wrong when a couple hundred teenagers got up here a few weeks ago and made a purity pledge. That's a wonderful thing. Yes, yes, it's fine that teenagers have uh, pledged to be pure and abstinent until they're married, even though it's not going to happen. I've met so many Christians who always talk about how you know you have to be married before you can have sex with anyone and stuff like that you know have have sex but they the, they end up you know having sex anyways and that is because sex is a natural part of life it is natural to want to have sex with people uh, people you love or anyone else and the pretty much the only unnatural thing is, you know, trying to stay abstinent, you know, for any any period of time. It's not, you know, I mean, people can, you know, refrain from having sex for a long period of time, but they, this having to be abstinent stuff is, you know, not as natural. Titus 1.15, under the pure, all things are pure. Now you listen very carefully. That pure mom and dad out there, when those kids are up here, you know what they're saying? That's great. Praise the Lord. Because to the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. One is not impure for having sex before their wedding day, nor are they defiled from their conscience to their mind. Sex is a natural part of life and humans like sex because they need to reproduce it's part of you know the genetic need to you know reproduce and keep the species going all i can say is if their god didn't want people to uh have sex as much as you know uh humans do now why did they why did he make it so pleasurable and why did he uh make humans with such a high sex drive. I don't want to sound weird tonight. There's a reason when ladies come up here to sing that the, the, the rule, if you want to use it, the standard, call it, I don't care what you call it, call it legalism, call it control, I don't care what you call it, there is a standard in this church that the dresses are going to come down to the knee when a lady stands up here. It sounds like he's wanting women to wear, to be fully clothed from like head to toe and like how like, you know, Muslim men make women wear burqas so that men don't have, you know, thoughts about them. And yeah, you, it, it's control. It's there. He's wanting to make women submit to his idea of how women should be. I've been here long enough now. You can call me every name you want to call me. I mean, I just, just fill my name in the blank. They call me old fashioned. It's okay. You say, why pastor? I've counseled too many men to know. That if we don't have everything covered just right, they're not going to be thinking about wonderful grace of Jesus. Yep, here we go. If women aren't covered from head to toe, 
men can't think about Jesus. Uh, it's not the woman's fault that uh, men uh, can't think about Jesus because you know women are around. So why is it why is it always the woman's fault for the way men think or act? Why isn't the men's fault? Is it why why do the, uh, these Abrahamic believers think that it's that men can't be faulted for anything and they're just way too perfect? Jesus, some of you men want to help me with this tonight. We're just trying to keep the focus on him. I get so sick and tired of going to weddings and it's the bride's day. And here's some Jezebel with hardly any clothes on strutting around the, the wedding. Look at you come to a wedding around here. Show some respect to the bride. You go to a funeral and there, uh, unsaved women do the exact same thing. You come to the house of God. It ought not to be a flesh show. It ought to be a place where Jesus is lifted high and his holiness is remembered. It's always the woman's fault. Uh, women can't go around doing anything without being blamed for something. First it's women making men think bad thoughts. Now it's women going, going to weddings and disrespecting uh, the, the bride by not wearing the type of clothing that he thinks women should wear. But what about the men who go to weddings just so that they can have sex with every woman at the, uh, at the wedding? There are some guys that will even try to have sex with the, the bride. Why isn't talking about men who need to have respect for the woman and about men who have sex before, they're, before they are married? So, well, Pastor Chapel, you know, you're in California and this kind of message is just... Whew. It doesn't matter where you live, the Bible's the same, folks. I would not doubt that if this guy had it his way, women would be covered head to toe uh, in a dress, and the only thing you could see about them is their eyes, just like in various Muslim nations where they have, they're forced to wear burqas so that men can stay pure and not have impure thoughts about women, and so women can't tempt them with you know their beauty and stuff it's it's asinine and ridiculous stuff if you like my videos please uh, comment like share and subscribe and if you uh, could donate uh, to my uh, PayPal account I'll post a link below as well as my patreon account and I will post that link too it will uh, help me uh, make more videos in the future